this is the other Masonic temple that existed in Columbus. It was purchased in the 1960s, I believe, or maybe early 70s by a local chiropractor. Uh, as you can see, this is a bit more opulent of a building than what the air quote colored Masonic temple was able to afford. Masons, after they sold this, moved out to the other end of town. I believe they're out Highway 12 now in another old building, which they renovated. This building is very interesting in that it clearly displays the disparity between the haves and the have-nots in the town, meaning the all-black masons in town and at the time the segregated all-white masons. This building was completed in 1902. It housed all the temple records, etc. ad nauseum. At one point, it was filled with offices and and then I believe there were apartments in here, even at one point. It's now in pretty sad shape because the roof leaked for several years. It's now getting a new roof, and hopefully the interior ceilings are next to be repaired. But it's a fabulous example of early 20th century stone structures that are found throughout the community and it's right down the street from the Tennessee Williams home thank you for coming on my little tour of my little town Columbus Mississippi